This tutorial today is about coloring liquids for zirconium oxide for use before sintering. However, we want to deal with a rather special technique, namely the individualization of milling from multilayer blanks, in which the color gradient of the tooth has already been created, and the color gradient is defined after the design in CAM nesting before milling takes place. Coloring multilayer blanks or white zirconium oxide with liquid is a question that we cannot answer in general. Every lab is different, everyone has its own workflows. The advantages of the liquid system are definitely the lower storage costs. You simply have to keep the white blanks in stock. In different heights and can cover the whole color spectrum of the dental world. Multilayer blanks on the other hand provide you with a high degree of shade reliability and shade reproducibility. What we offer today in the field of dentin shades for white zirconium oxide are three solutions. One of them is the DD Basic Shade, which gives the zirconium oxide a relatively intensive chroma, but is also characterized by a higher gray value. The higher gray value is necessary so that you can use this liquid with all our zirconium oxide N. A one in all solution. Besides we have two Pro Shades. The Pro Shade Z and the Pro Shade C. Pro Shades are generally characterized by a less intensive chroma and warmer shade. The Pro Shade Z is essentially suitable for the Zirconium DD Bio Z, DD Bio ZX2 and DD Cube 1. The Pro Shade C is perfect for our highly translucent DD Cube X2. To the DD Art Elements to make the liquid system complete. For me DD Art Elements are the perfect link between digital workflow and artistic craftsmanship. Milling from multi-layer blanks guarantees you process stability, provides you with color reliability and with the DD art elements. You can now pimp your construction once again before sintering. Janina Marksman Dental Technician from our Technology Center in St. Annan will now show you the application of the liquids on multi-layer blanks. I wish you a lot of fun. For questions and suggestions, we are available for you at any time. Have fun! We start with the painting this time single step by step, later than all in one. We start with the blue that we apply in the scabbard and the mesogon labial edge area to create a bit more liveliness and naturalness. We apply the purple in the labial edge area to darken and to achieve more depth. The light grey is applied in sisal and, in the furrows, to achieve more depth and emphasize the blue effect. Dark grey is also applied to the furrows and around the edges to support the light grey a little. Where you can support a bit of the light grey. We apply the orange approximal to darken from other teeth and to bring about an optical separation between the teeth. All in in one we start again with the blue. We'll put that down again. To the usual places. The purple we can put the next to it. Of course, we can also put it on top of that this is at will. I decided to put that next to it. And a little bit above that. To enhance the effect. The orange again approximal to darken it. This is a very nice effect. I also like to use the light brown. Palatal or lingual. To darken effect. We start the molar again with 
the blue. Incisal. To achieve translucency. And a bit of depth, naturalness. We place the purple back in the marginal area to reduce the depth of the tooth. As desired. The light grey is placed next to the blue in order to introduce it. To achieve beautiful depth, let the fissures look even deeper. The orange one darkens the fissures on both sides. Very nice effect. The light brown return to the main central and next to fissures to darken them. A lot of depth to achieve. It just looks natural. And then again the dark brown. Around the lowest points. To be emphasized. With all in one, you can see the unpainted both the left side. You can already see a big difference. On the right side, we see the painted tooth, the blue comes out strongly. Also because we have emphasized the fissures with light brown. It comes very strong, that's just great. It brings a lot more life into the tooth. The art elements are now complete. We could glaze now but we decided to finalize the molars and the front tooth again and pimp a bit again. I put the DD contrast colors on top of my pre-painted colors or something similar to enhance the effect a little bit more. Even more natural. On the left we see our glazed tooth painted with DD Art Elements colors. And on the right side we see our finalized tooth with the DD Contrast color and texture. The texture suggests a little bit more naturalness to pimp this natural texture of the tooth a bit more. Yes, the right side. Again ours with the DD contrast, texture and colors, machined model tooth. You can see the surface texture really nicely. The light really shines out. On the left tooth it is on the glazed tooth it is striking. On the right side you can really see the light reflection. We also see here the nice colors, as they come out really great also with the texts I have applied again down in the neck area of the transport warm floor you can see the total difference. The total difference. See ya, that was a lot of fun imitating yourself with the DD Arts elements and the DD contrast. See you. Okay, we forgot one liquid and that is the DD Art Element Pink. The DD Art Element Pink is less suitable for use with multi-layer blank. The DD Element Pink is designed to give the white zirconium oxide a gingival color. In the case of the multi-layer blanks, the gingival area is milled into the dentin body. This means that the use of DD Art Element Pink does not really bring any benefit. On white zirconium oxide, However, you achieve a beautiful light pink basic shade, which is ideal for further characterization with colors, textures, or veneering ceramics.